The house was derelict, its wood grimy, moldy, and black. Despite this, Christine Robbins and Catherine Lambert, partners at San Francisco architectural firm Metropolitan Architectural Practice, noticed the same group show up at all three open houses. The group turned out to be enthusiasts of mid-century modern architect Jack Hilmer, who had designed the Napa House, one of only 10 projects he ever finished. They bought the 2,000 square foot house built in 1953 for $588,000. Following their three month $300,000 renovation, they decided to keep it as a weekend house so they can alternate using and occasionally rent out for functions like weddings. The first step was to get rid of a 16 foot long cabinet blocking the view out the all glass walls. They put in about $22,000 for new electrical and heating systems. It cost $30,000 to restore the internal and external wood. They replaced the large fluorescent can lights drilled into the ceiling with a cable lighting system on strings. They spent $15,000 glazing the 54 panes of glass on the back side of the house and adding a low E film to reduce heat loss. It cost $20,000 to design and put in a wall at the end of the property for privacy and estimate it will be another $15,000 when fencing for the rest of the perimeter is finished. Throughout the renovation, they worked with the town of Napa to ensure the house would earn cultural landmark status, the first and only post-World War II residents in Napa to have that designation. Cleaning up the house connected them to the post-World War II optimism that made it possible to build such an intricate house. As it became less derelict, the house's spirit almost seemed to improve, says Ms. Lambert. It was pretty depressed. <laughs>